<laughs> I messed you up. Is this how we just started now? Well, hello, we are getting ready to go and do some book shopping. Uh, this is my wife, Shantae. Hello. She is awesome and likes books. Uh, not as much as me, but few people do. Uh, we're here at our half price books, uh, just about half an hour away from our home, and we're gonna have fun and gotta wake up our son who is asleep in the back. So, let's go. First stop, children books. you have to do as a parent. Hello. <laughs> We're back from book shopping and grocery shopping and kids dinners and put down and all that fun stuff. And we actually have, you know, kid monitor right there. The parenting thing. Um, well, officially, who are you? I'm the wife. Named? The wife. <laughs> Shantae. Uh, yes. My name is Shantae. And like he said, I'm your wife. I said it. Yes. And how long have we been married? Six years next mm -hmm. week. Six years and one week. Exactly. So fun. And she's had to put up with me and all my nerdy things. Yes. But you have also allowed me to still keep uh, some nerdy things around. So I appreciate that. Like your books. Yes. So, um, and our kids, we're off center our here. We're, we're going to keep this going. Our kids are not nerdy there things. There we go. Our, they're not nerdy things. But uh, our three-year-old does love books he loves books i he was like a kid in a candy mm -hmm. store more than caleb at where we were mm -hmm. just at yes um he actually first thing he saw when he went there and had to have he had the choice between this and another little one and he definitely went with this he is very much into dinosaurs very books much everything dinosaurs. so you know fun kid stuff but you're not here about stuffed animals you're here about books Right? I'm sure they'd be very excited to see all of his stuff animals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a lot. Um, earlier video, I showed it. Yes. Um, so we went, first thing we did, uh, went to the kids section and just had to get, you know, stock up on some essentials. We got some Berenstain Bears. Pumpkin Prize has to do with a lot about uh, jealousy and Thanksgiving and all that fun stuff. Really was. Makai absolutely loved that one. We got another Berenstain Bear book here, uh, which is Week at Grandma's, which I'm going to assume is about fun and relationships and family. Stuff or like that. the kids are going to miss their parents and the grandma's going to have to like, mm -hmm. you know, do grandma things to help them. Or they do so many fun things at grandma's and eat so much sugar that when they go back to mom and dad's, it's like a culture shock. I'm going to say mine because it's always like that. You know, like when you go to your grandparents' house, you have fun, but then you're like, oh snap, my parents aren't here. Mm -hmm. I want my mom and dad. And then, you know, your grandparents are like... Blah, 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 blah. So I think that's Wait, what it, they're like. So. <laughs> Next, we got another one that we read tonight that was amazing. It's Tiny T Rex. Uh, he just wants to give a hug. Just wants to give hugs and all impossible. that. Impossible. T Rex has little arms. It's impossible. So he sets out on an adventure to learn how to give hugs. Um, learns not to give hugs to a cactus, but uh, <laughs> ten out of ten recommend for kids and adults. I mean, come on. That's why you become a parent to play with trains to read books, to buy books, excuses to buy books. That's probably going to be another video. The, the <laughs> trains that we yes. have accumulated, not because of just our son. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, we also picked up I Spy. Yes. Uh, have been doing a lot of really fun spy. He just got a bluey yeah. uh, I Spy book and loved it and spent like 15 minutes just sitting oh on the floor gosh. going over it. And so we got another one, which that'll be fun to do. Yeah. And this um, one has dinosaurs. Yes. Um, as... <laughs> uh, construction stuff, Digger, uh, he had to go in immediately and saw this, and he's like, oh, front loader, and all that. And well, when we were on our way there, we asked him what kind of book did he want, and he definitely said backhoes or something. Excavate, I don't know. Excavators. Excavators, yes. You know, mm -hmm. he actually knows all, if not, if not all, most mm -hmm. of construction trucks things like that lingo lingo yeah all that fun sure. stuff i was like thinking like the the trucks the things mm -hmm. they drive the machinery he knows most of that that's that's the word machinery he knows most of those if not yeah. all yeah he's a he's a fun little kid here's yes. another i spy this one's vehicle edition yes uh so, gonna be super fun to do that yeah. as well yeah airplanes 
Again, construction things, cars. He's into anything with wheels. Mm-hmm. What three or wheels that, is it? Or that roars and makes noise. Yeah. And lastly, this is for me. Okay, before we... I oh, got... Oh. Sh- so, this just looked super interesting. Did I get it out of the kids section? Yes. But look at it. It's mazes. Is, 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 is. And I'm, it's like, I would like to point out that stuff. you, in fact, did not get three books. You got four. But look how cool these are. Okay, like, you're just, you know, when it's time for kids to go to sleep and you don't want to do laundry, you can do children mazes. So I'm really excited about that one. Again, why do you become parents? To do their stuff. <laughs> hey, soon our six-month-old will be there as well, and we'll have one and one and yeah. share those duties. All right. Now to your <clears throat> second book. There you go. Yeah, Take I got away. books. So loved this. I'm going to butcher it. Arthur? Author. 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 There's no R in author. Well, yes, there is an R in author. There's not two R's in authors. Author. author. Not Words. Arthur. That's the name. The author, I have loved Lisa Jackson since I can remember. I think she was kind of one of the first like big chapter books I read in high school, which does not let you know how old I am if you know how long she has been around. Um, so I wanted to get another one. I have like three of her books right now, two. I had three. I think I've given some away. But I'm really excited to read this one. This one is also just like a suspense mystery book. So... It's really good. She does a really good with her series. And I think this is also part of her Bents um, series where she talks about like Rick and his daughter situation. So I'm really excited to read about this one. Um, I'm not going to read you the back because... <laughs> Gives it away. Uh, no, not really. It's just about like a, a rich, famous person and a scandal. And then there's people out to try to kill them. That's really Suspense, nice. thriller. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. You've been after me to read one of them, I believe. Yeah. You should pick your favorite one to have me read. I and think then I will. We could talk about it. We could talk about it. Yeah. It's funny. We Book both things. like to read, but we don't like to read the same type of genre. Mm-hmm. Which would be fun to do. We've talked about do it. Do a little cross genre thing. Yeah. So I'll we did one read one together, but it wasn't really. We did. Really... That was really. No, that one was fun though. We read uh, Murder on the Orient Express yes, at the same was... time, which was yeah. really fun before watching the movie because we had neither one of us read the book or watched it. No, and but that you was really had fun. it. I had it, but I hadn't had read book. it. And then yeah. it worked out perfect. So For sure. Book number three. Whatever. <laughs> this one is called What You Gonna Do. And I thought it was just funny. Or oh, it's Witcher. Witch. It's What You Gonna Do because this one what is really fun. So it you. says An unlucky witch and her know it all nemesis must team up in the first of a new spicy romantic comedy series. So this spicy. is Stab. This is. <laughs> I did get this out of the romance section, but I didn't get it because I thought it was going to be spicy. I got it because I thought it was funny. You know, like you just kind of peruse a book and you read like a few pages or whatever. And it was funny because like the way that they, she was talking to her nemesis kind of reminds me of how I talk to you. She's very sarcastic with like wit and just like jab, jab, you know? And so it was just very, yeah, it was very funny because I was like, oh, that sounds like us. So I wanted to read it except for I'm not a uh... witch. No, that's not. It was a different one. That's not, yeah, that's I didn't one. get the other ones. Oh, you didn't? Okay. Yeah, yeah. those looked a little. I lived a life. A little too. The other ones, they were uh, mixed race that I was looking at. It was like a mixed race couple or whatever. And I was just like, I lived that life, so I don't really need to read about it. Wait, where? Yeah. <gasps> You're black. Can you claim colorblind? It wouldn't work. You're Book number four. <laughs> uh, this one is called The American Roommate Experiment. Um, it looked cute. The, the, I know. Don't judge a book by its cover, right? Come on. You totally judge books by their cover. Literally. This was cute. Nine times out of ten. Right. And this one, okay, so I actually did read this lady's other book. Her other book was uh, The Spanish Love deception i actually read that off of libby and i thought that was super cute mm-hmm. so then when i Love saw this libby. 
love Libby. So mm -hmm. when I saw this, I was like, oh, snap, she has another book. And so this one was actually really cute. So it's about this lady who quits her well-paid job to focus on more of a creative aspect. So then she finds this guy who basically becomes like her roommate, but not really. He's more of like, uh, what is it called? A coach. I was gonna say like her samurai, but that wasn't her. Anyways, uh, he he becomes her coach on how to do things in a more creative way and have a more creative outlook. But then they don't really like. He doesn't really like her, even though she's paying him all of this money because of like he just thinks that she's just this spoiled brat when actually she worked really hard to get where she was at mm -hmm. but he was just like no you just have money and now you're just kind of want to do whatever you want to do which she's like no that's not the case so anyways it looked really cute and i like the back and forth dialogue between like guy and girl or whatever and so she starts writing a book and then uh yeah so i'm not yeah mm. but there i'm excited because it looks good so yeah that's the last of my book okay I and i ended up just getting one because this is uh anytime you go to a used bookstore uh I have certain book series and authors that I'm wanting to get books from and so I keep my eye out and every time invariably it's like I've read book one two three and they don't have book four and then jumps to five and so I just can't get those so I just ended up with one um, I saw this movie series when it came out I think like ten years ago I don't remember a ton about it but I remember it being very interesting it is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell a pre-Victorian England uh, like uh, wizard feud, it turns out that magic exists, and one guy uh, goes to uh, to fame and glory because of it, something like that. But then there's intrigue. There is uh, uh, what is it? It says um, suspense. <laughs> all that sort of stuff. So there's a competition between these two new magicians. Uh, one of them was a previous student, but then eventually there's a supernatural catastrophe, I believe, that they have to then team up as uh, enemies, but than teammates to be able to try to solve it and stuff like that. So it reminds me a little bit of, uh, and it's set during the Napoleonic era, which I'm wondering if that comes in at all, or if it's just like, oh, Napoleonic era, let's go into all this craziness. Uh, but it reminds me a little bit of the Prestige, maybe just from that back, like it, that wizard competition. We watched the Prestige. We did not. Yeah, Hugh Jackman, Christian Bale. Yes, we watched the Prestige. I... We haven't watched we got to watch for Prestige. One of my favorite movies. Anyways, we hear about books, <laughs> stories. And so look forward to reading this one. Uh, I saw that it was uh, pretty highly rated as well um, on Goodreads and on Amazon. And so I'm looking forward to taking a look at that. I have too many other books on my TBR, but this will be a uh, one that I definitely get to. Um, I heard the illustration one time that at some point you just buy books just like people buy wine. Not that you're always going to be drinking it immediately, but you want to always have it on hand in case you need it or want it. And a book is the same way. You have to have plenty on your TBR so that way you always have something there. You're never wanting. Makes sense to me. <laughs> so that was our little uh, mini book haul. Uh, as you saw, Makai, our son, got the brunt of it. And at some point, Malia, our six-month-old, will join in that as well so it should be a lot of fun yes. so looking forward to doing some reading now that the kids are uh doing good with sleep or better with sleep uh being able to just actually read together like we used to when we were dating and engaged and early married that would be fun we did not read together when we were dating we made out <laughs> quite a bit <laughs> <laughs> i was not ever gonna go there okay <laughs> We didn't you read out. We didn't we, read, we, out, we, read out. We did we not did read, not that, read much. No. that much. We did read the Bible. Yes. We read the Bible together. And I, we read one? No. No, we wouldn't. Yes. We made out. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> we were on Thank you. <laughs> Uh, go ahead, um, check out up here uh, a video that uh, YouTube is recommending for you. And up here is my little introduction to why I started this channel. And uh, we'll be doing more videos and stuff. So take care. God bless. Bye-bye.